Hell Pals! Welcome back to Orchids for Dummies. Now in today's video, honey, mama got a cakey. Mama got a cakey, mama got a cakey. And I am going to finally, honey, mount my first orchid. Stay tuned! Good evening. Now, foul pals, I have already done some of the steps necessary to get this on and popping because, honey, mama um, is not trying to be before you too long, okay? So, when I purchased this um, bark, it costed me $10. I got it from a local nursery. I will leave a link in that video below, honey. But, um, I just got me a nail and I hammered it through because mama does not have a drill yet, honey. She's not that masculine to be walking around with drills in a pocket, okay? And this right here came, um attached to my cat Leia Blanca that I got from Redlands. Now, that's a tip and trick for you guys. Please try to keep all of the orchid supplies that comes with the orchid, honey. That's being economical, okay? So, um, it was very flexible, so I just bent me a hook into it, and I tested it out. Um, it's a small hook on here that I attached to the back of the nail. I tested it. Oh, well, it just came right on off right there. But once hanging, um, it will not come off unless I remove it. Okay, so those are the first steps. And also, I um, boiled hot water and let it soak on this bark for just a moment. So the bark will be nice and soft, just as I want my Phalaenopsis orchid roots to be nice and soft so she is actually sitting inside of some pure rainwater foul pals i did not even want to take that chance and in putting her into tap water okay honey if you have not seen the presidential uh, be debates honey then you would know honey they say bl well black people live honey girl they giving us poison honey so girl i'm not trying to poison my orchid <laughs> i have a dear foul pal called um, Brian and his channel is called Artwork Orchids and Beekeeping. And he gave me an instructional video on how to mount orchids. And I will also leave that video link at the end of this video. But he taught me how to anchor it. And the first thing he said is you really would want to do it with two people. Okay. So we're doing it by ourselves today. Okay. So I'm going to get my Phalaenopsis cakey out of this um, water. These is, and this is why I chose her to go on the um, bark because, honey, her roots, honey, she is not letting these roots be flexible at all. So um, um, I know that because I'm going to hang her like this, Sorry about the noise, fail pals. But because I know I'm going to hang her like this, and the way that the Phalaenopsis orchids grow, I want to hang her upside down. Now, fail pals, do not be waiting to after I um, do this to say you should have hung her up the other way. We're not going to do that, okay? Now, like I told you guys, the moss that I have, um, I let it sit in um, some rainwater and not tap. Cause I didn't want to take those chances okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to nest my um, let's fluff out this moss first okay let's just go and fluff it out a little bit more but the first thing I'm going to do is wrap those roots around with this nice loving moss okay this nice See, she has a little root right there growing as well. So now that I have wrapped it, the next thing I want to do is just put a little, a little moss. Well, that's a lot, but yeah. Because we want to just make sure that this baby is still able to hydrate and get what she needs, okay? And we're going to try to get this moss as cute as possible on here, darling. Okay. Well, let's make sure this enough. Let's make sure it's not too close 
to the um, top of the orchid because that's a nice way to give her a fungal infection as well as um, as well as um, fung well, that, I'm sorry that's the quickest way to give her a fungal infection so okay bad pal so now that I have her in the position that I want the next thing I'm going to do is get this um, fishing string and start to um, wrap it around this is the hard, this is the hard part so I'm going to wrap it around one time and then tie a knot in it and go from there. I wanted to do this with Fab Pal Rick L, but Rick L has been um, sickly lately. So Fab Pal, just keep him lifted in prayer, okay? We all need our dear Fab Pal Uncle Rick L, honey. And his lovely wife, Jan. So what I am taking forever doing is just tying a knot on my first go around so it won't just I'll come back and lose them. This be in vain. That's the hard part with doing this with gloves, but Fab Pals, um, you want to make sure that you wear gloves when you're dealing with all these different types of media because um because Boo Boo Kitty, um, honey, you would get some nasty looking nails like I did. So now I'm just wrapping it around. They say make sure not to do it too tight, but honey, mama is gonna do it tight, okay? Well, I wanna make sure, see this right here, this is why they say don't do it too tight. I don't want to chop the roots up because this is, I hope it's not too tight, okay? Because you don't want to cut the roots up. You don't want it to be on the actual roots. So now that I feel like I have um, tied it up enough, or wrapped it around enough, um, the next thing I'm going to do is cut off a long strand of this wire and try to loop it through there. Classes, so I'm not, I don't know how I, or Boy Scouts, so I don't know how to stop it. But I'm gonna try to wrap it through here and then tie the knot. That's what I'm gonna attempt to do. And then I'm gonna hang this outside, Fab Pals. I'm gonna have to show you guys soon my um, file setup, honey, okay? My 2019 file setup, honey, is very romantic. And um, my orchids are outside. Okay, so now <laughs> I looped it through there and have not tied it up. Just like that, cut off all of the extra. It's another extra strand. It's supposed to have been over here, but I don't see it, so we're just gonna leave it alone. But um, that's it, fam pals. I think I did very good by myself, hanging my own, mounting my first Phalaenopsis orchid cakey. Now I hope that See, now that's gonna be the problem. When she hangs, let's say for instance, I was to hang her from here. You still can't see. I'm sorry. But let's say I was to hang her from here. Honey, mama not gonna get any sun. What do you think, Fab Pat? Do you think she would get some sun being cooked, tucked and took this, this far under? But I wanted to make sure that when it rained that the water would flow down very similar to how the orchid actually grows. I did not want to mount her facing upwards 
or sideways because I just felt as if it would pose a risk of her getting a um, fungal infection, okay? Having water trapped between the leaves. But Fab Pals, I thank you so much for staying tuned. Fab Pals, I feel as if that's a lot better than um, what it was. And like I said, I'm gonna hang her outside. So hopefully this will actually protect her from sunburn because I put my cat Leah Blanca outside yesterday in the rain and honey before I could as soon as the rain stopped I think like 30 minutes later I went to go get the the sun came back out I went to go get the cat Leah and honey mama had already had sunburn so that's the temperature we deal with every day here in Alabama well so fail pals it is nine o'clock in the morning and she is up there getting her best life with this morning sun she also gets a little bit of the afternoon sun, but predominantly this is the, going to be the sun that is sustaining her. And I have been checking the leaves for sunburn and you will really be amazed at how much sun these um, mini phalaenopsis are able to withstand, darling. Stay tuned. Well, it is now 3 p.m. So this is the afternoon sun on a sunny day. And as you can see, she is still living her best life. Um, an ecosystem of bugs, a wasp um, nest is trying to form on the back of it. However, she is living her best life. And now you can see, honey, mama did good mountain. So thank you so much, Fab Pal Brian. Uh, so I actually moved her um, a little closer to the front door, which is under some shade because I was in fear of that light coloration. I was in fear that it was beginning to get a little sunburn. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to hang her right here and to see if she continues to grow because the leaf has grown. She was over there in that location for about five days, maybe a week. But um, she is over here now because um, that root, it halted um, the growth. I was afraid that it was sunburned as well. But ultimately, um, she is growing, so she is happy. So let's see if she will grow in this partial shade, okay? Until next time, Fowl Pals.